Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a review of issue number one of Siren's Gate and um, this was part of my uh, comic mail call subscription that I got last month and uh, I got it because I went ahead and bought issue number two of of um of the comic just to i was going to try two issues of it since i had gotten the first issue might as well get the second and if i don't like the second issue i am going to drop it and not buy another issue so this is my first uh my first um you know i've never read this comic before uh it came out in october and it was part of a whole slash or a whole stash of comic books that had come out that definitely was embracing the Halloween feel and all that type of stuff. So first of all, some people might be a little bit like it's a it's a very different uh, style of comic book uh, illustrations. These are actually hand painted, which is definitely. Um, very different uh something that i'm definitely not used to is it being hand painted rather than it probably being I'll put on a computer and all that type of stuff um i am going to say that the first issue is a little bit confusing um no idea who um um who this figure is um, right here. No idea. Uh, there's definitely a supernatural type of um, lent to her or type of tent, whatever you want to call it. And definitely she's got like some kind of powers this figure does. But like I said, I just really, I'm just still like confused. Like why in the world does this woman want this other woman to come to her house? Um, just everything about it was confusing. Um, I'm not against the hand paint, uh, hand painted. I think that it's really, um, really great. Um, I thought the monster is pretty cool looking. Um, I'm just going to give it another try and read, uh, issue number two. Um, it looks like that it is a werewolf because you see the back it's a full moon so like i said i'm, I'm gonna give it a tr i mean yeah it was a little confusing and it doesn't go into uh, a lot of details uh, which i think is the downside of hand painting these because you really do not have I mean, there's really hardly any kind of dialogue in this issue and I like my comic books with a lot of dialogue, um, a lot of talking, a lot of ex just, she doesn't explain really much of anything this woman does, I mean, doesn't really do, which I think is, I don't know, I just, yeah. But still, I'm going to give it, give the second issue a try, and if I still am confused or i'm starting to really not like it I'm, i'll probably just end up dropping it so i'm going to give it at least four stars mainly because of the hand painting but not really see my you know not really see myself as buying like 20 or 30 issues of this title so um i am going to end it there hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time nerds read on bye